What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer, and welcome to Tattoo Thursday. You guys know I like my theme names, but Kevin and I, <laughs> yeah, I always have that. Thing. You know that, Kevin. But uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing something a little funky, a little different today, just something really fun. Uh, the, I am still doing the True Draco stuff for you guys that are waiting for that. I just thought I'd break it up and have a goofy video. Uh, Kevin is uh, pretty big on tattoos. He's had a few of his own. If he wants, he can send me a few photos, and I'll put them up on the video right here so you can see some, maybe some of his favorites. I don't know if you're willing to do that, Kevin. <laughs> no, dude, you guys can't perceive me. You're not allowed. Yeah, they don't know what you look like at all, but we'll see if we can get a couple pictures from you. Uh, yeah. But I'm myself in getting into tattoos as well. I'm probably going to be getting my first one here in the next month or two or so. Uh, so I've also just kind of gotten into the whole culture. I think it's really fun. So this is kind of a good way for us to express ourselves and talk about that, right? Melding of the worlds. Absolutely. Uh, so obviously, you guys will see that I'll put a bigger image up on the side. We're just going to go one by one. Kevin and I will come to some sort of agreement on what tattoos we think belong where and kind of our philosophies as we go through them. So Kevin, hopefully you have the same one up as I do. We're looking at this red eyes one. How do you feel about this? Oh, it's all right, man. It's a, uh, you know, I, I, my philosophy on it is just like, I don't know. I feel like you should kind of have have your foot firm, like both your feet firmly in one style. And so if this is kind of half the anime style and half like some kind of, you know, traditional like style going yeah. on right now, too. It does feel a little American traditional. I actually am not a fan of the red that kind of is in the back of it. If you zoom in, you can see. Yeah, Some of the lines are kind of what it, it like. It looks like circles, but for me, this is a C tier, maybe D. I don't know where you would put it in the as far as the tiers. Yeah, mm. sure. Yeah, I'll put it as C tier. Yeah, because I don't particularly yeah. like the design very much, but it's not really yeah. poorly done or anything like that. If this is the design that they brought to the artist, I think the artist did a good job of just like re probably fade out which may make the ta the tattoo look better later in my opinion so yeah uh, yeah for sure uh next we'll go over this really big piece i don't it's this yugi one like one half is yami and the other half is yugi with the millennium puzzle coming down this is a very big piece but i do actually think it's beautiful that's pretty uh, crazy i would I would also guess that this tattoo is not immediately new. It kind of it's starting to look a little faded, which all tattoos will eventually, right? No matter what. But I can respect the design. It's it's unique for sure. Like they took their own idea. They wanted it to represent kind of the whole Yu-Gi-Oh series. And I think they did a decent job at it. If nothing else, the Millennium Puzzle looks a little goofy. Yeah, this is dope. I think it was done pretty well. And uh yeah, I man, this is not my this this kind of stuff is not my speed, not my not really my style, but I can I can appreciate the the craftsmanship. I think that you put this into the B or A tier. Uh yeah, I think in like in particular, Yugi and Yami look fantastic. So I'm gonna put it in A tier, not a tattoo that I would get, but that's not really the what this is all about, anyways. Uh so we can move on to the next one. It's this Japanese blue eyes card. I is this Very a interesting. card, you think? I, I it really looks recommend. it looks like that no it looks uh it kind of looks like uh like the old format of the of the ocg cards um i like it actually i think it's pretty cool blue eyes looks really good I'm yeah the drawing sure. looks really good there's just a lot going on with the rest of the design but i think it's pretty dope actually what i really don't like about the design is if you if you are trying to find or recreate this classic design i don't know if i like the liberty of taking and having like these scratch marks on the outside. Uh, so that's what would kind of reserve me from putting this any higher. Although I think if you were just to put the blue eyes on there, this would be one of my favorite tattoos because of its simplicity and everything like that. It's one of the best blue eye renditions I've seen on someone's arm. Yeah. That's so a good gonna, tap. I say B. Yeah. What do yeah, you think? I think put it in a B tier. <laughs> B's respectable. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have this piece, which I think you're really going to like. It's Jinzo. It is massive. I don't know if I... I love these Jinzo much. hats, man. The thing is, is you have to understand, well, at least in for me, uh, this takes up your primary real estate. People say, well, at least in my opinion, like your wrist area or... Yeah, this is this dude's whole forearm. So that's what's going to stop me from putting this in S tier. But if you look at it, I mean, it looks really nice. I think the fingers look a little goofy. 
Although I'm not sure if the card itself, if the fingers look like that, and it's like a perfect one-for-one -one shot of it. Uh, the coloring, I think, is going to look really bad, actually, in the future. Just kind of the the shading isn't perfect. It's a little kind of forced in there. Interesting. I, I think this is the deep best deep. one we've looked at so far, actually. Wow. I mean, I, I'm not going to disagree with you. When you look at it at face value, and if you look we, at yeah, it... We have, a, we, you have a, it. we have a slightly differing uh, opinion on it at this point, and I think that, you know, that's okay. That's definitely okay that we don't have a different opinion on it. Like, but, uh, you know, whatever people are going to get, they're going to get. And so yeah. as long as it's done well, that's really all I can really care about as far as just like, I don't know. What, sure. I don't know what, I don't know what Jinzo means to this person. So, uh, <laughs> that's true. uh, I think, you know, I think they really, the line work is really nice and bold. I think the colors are really nice and bold and I actually do think they'll, they're packed pretty well. So I think this is going to heal pretty nice. I think this is going to be a really, this is a really nice tattoo. I, I would say it's an S tier tattoo, honestly. I'm willing to concede that, uh, but I don't agree, but. You, you know more about tattoos than I do about how it's packed and everything like that. So mm -hmm. I'll agree with you on that one. Uh, we'll go on. This one is one of my favorites by far. And there's only like a couple things that stopped us from being my favorite tattoo of the entire list. And it's this Yugi shadowy looking thing. I mean, if you ignore the Millennium Puzzle, this is just awesome. The idea awesome. here is really dope. How do you... F okay, but of course, you to me, the it's Millennium Puzzle looks janky it's like curved. it is yeah it's pretty wonky the line's pretty wonky for sure but if you can just ignore that and you look at the top path zooey mama that's a great looking tattoo that's really sick yeah it's like from the uh from like the the opening of the show or something like that or like right when yugi transforms but yeah uh the millennium puzzle isn't bad but that you definitely wish you could go over it with that or maybe it's like just based on where where this is at on the leg like maybe kind of could have placed this better so it doesn't look like that because it probably is more straight than than it appears because i think it's on this dude's calf True. so yeah i think there's probably some wrapping going on i'm gonna put this in b uh yeah but yeah. i do i do appreciate it and I, I like what they're the direction they were going with it yeah not bad <laughs> this one i did oh, here place we fucking it. go buddy I, not good just so you guys can see them i i didn't want to put anyone's instagram handles at the top because it's kind of unfair like for their business wise and everything to do that uh but this is a blue eyes or not this is not blue eyes this is dark magician and That's they just tough, let, man they showed a picture to it and they let the artist kind That's of tough. I, I think do their own version of it but there's a green in there i'm not sure where that comes from if you look at the bottom it becomes this dark blue as well and even if you would have took out <laughs> the hat looks like Sorry, those uh, those chips that the cone chips, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like this the bu uh, bugles, I think they're called. <laughs> yeah, bugles. Oh, man. Uh, bugle head. It's a D, man. This is. This sucks. If you're gonna, this is bad. Blue eyes, I don't, th or I don't think Dark Magician shows up on tattoos very well at all. The, and there will be uh, original artwork later on too. For some reason, they it's shaped strangely. Dark Magician isn't even one of the best looking cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Period, in my opinion. It's just weird. It's just they kind of. It's like they got to the face and they just quit. You know, like <laughs> everything kind of. Like everything kind of like if you go from the bottom up, you're like, okay, okay. If you look at this from the bottom up, you're like, all right, all right, all right. And then like once you get to the top, you're just like, what the fuck is going on here? Like this was on. They just Master, lost it, man. And they have like thirty <laughs> minutes left to finish the tattoo. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Was this person on a time crunch? That's what it looks like. It yeah, looks like this look person wanted to get tattooed before their like evening shift at work. I think they have like a really bad Deathly Hollows tattoo above them. It kind of or it looks just old. Yeah, that's... or like a Triforce tattoo or something. We'll move on from that one. Uh, next is this. Oh, this Cypher is tattoo. Dope. This is dope and as hell. I think the color is packed in very beautifully. I love the shading on this one. I'm not sure this is like a one for one rendition of like one of the artworks, but besides that, which doesn't really matter ultimately, it looks great. It has yeah, the original like, a, too, uh, or like style, I should say. There's this, I don't know, there's kind of like a, a, a Japanese traditional vibe going on with it. Um, as far as just like how the blacks and the grays are, you know, going up against each other. Um, I really like this. I think this is really dope. Yeah, I'm I would, gonna, this is an S tier for me. Yeah, this is S tier for sure. 
Uh, if I were to get a cipher tattoo, I think I'd rather do like a really big piece, which I think will, might be one of the next ones. Uh, but nonetheless, amazing tattoo, something you would definitely be willing to show a lot of people and That's look at for a long time to come. Uh, next one is uh, the oh, big fuck. sleep tattoo. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> so someone got, I think the oh rest my God. of it is Dark Magician related. It's like it some, like, it's like related to the anime. Yeah, it's all Egyptian stuff, but good lord at first glance this is kind of one of the my original ideas for a sleeve this is that I super loud do. yeah but if you look at the face of slifer it it doesn't look like slifer the sky dragon it took a lot of creative liberties there it <laughs> a too- lot of creative liberties that's not slifer the sky dragon but <laughs> it's a good tattoo but that's not slifer the sky dragon <laughs> you know what that reminds me <laughs> plain of, and of simply that? Jake the Dragon or whatever that Disney show what was American called? Dragon Jake Long. yeah it looks like it's from that kind of style and I'm not just sure that's what I want on my body like, just like throwing a clip or a picture of Jake <laughs> Long for that. Yeah, yeah it does kind of look like that yeah I think yeah this is solid like I think it's dope it's a dope sleeve concept I think it blends well with the the rest of this dude's arm uh, but yeah that's definitely not Slide for the Sky Dragon that's all I'm going to say I'm going to put uh, this in B because I, again, I think it's done quite well. I don't think anything looks off at all, but this is your entire arm. It's an artist rendition of Slifer, and that's all the real estate you're going to give yourself, like to tattoo your body. I'm not one to, well, I'm getting, I'm thinking about getting a sleeve myself. So it's not the idea of sleeves. It's just when I think of them, I want you to put as much about yourself in them as you can. And this, I feel like you're really limiting yourself besides like not really telling much about yourself other than you like Slifer the Sky Dragon. Yeah, man, it's a, it's teach their own, but I uh, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my entire arm space. There's like a lot of space on my arm. So I want to put a lot of different stuff on there. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't put this one big giant piece on it personally, but yeah, I hope this Kevin, person's happy with it. It's a dope looking tattoo. And Kevin and I are not uh, micro tattoo stands, we actually are <laughs> we are fans of bigger pieces but i got yeah. some good work. i got some pretty big stuff on me right now and uh it's time for the most degenerate tattoo of oh, the no, day no. sir i don't know if you can see this dark jail girl. jail <sighs> I want whoever did this to be put in jail and i want whoever got it done to be also put in jail also to put the, the lego tattoo the lego right movie <laughs> <laughs> it's super blown girl. out too like yeah. who, like oh man he's this like trying arm- to cover something up at the bottom here and it's not even like properly covering it up this is a this is a mess all around dude unrealistic proportions for dark magician girl as well like you just give her like two more cup sizes this is not yeah you yeah, got, this is oh, some wow. degenerate you shit can't right see now. the cover too you see that claw behind her on the right hand side of her body mm. yikes not not good. I'm putting this in D tier, even though it doesn't technically look awful. Just having this on your body, I think, automatically puts it in D tier. This is some degenerate <laughs> shit, man. This is really rough <laughs> yeah. to look at, and I don't want to be looking at it anymore. <laughs> okay, well, we'll move on to the next one, which is interesting. Just, uh, I guess this is. <clears throat> this like, does I, look more like a traditional looking blue eyes. It's a halfway house, but I think the teeth look a little silly and i also am not a fan of the shading in this it doesn't look like a fully developed concept especially as you get to that darker super, kind of this violet is a really color. shitty picture too like he's like this kid this dude is super bloody like you can't really see how the lines are i don't know the, the lines aren't super crisp like the lines could be a lot better but i don't know yeah it, it's it, it it's not my favorite kind of version of this. I feel like you can you can do blue eyes with the American traditional style and do a lot better job than this, I think. Yeah, and it's not on this tier list, and I'm very stupid for doing it, but I'll put a picture up right now, as you guys can see, of American traditional tune blue eyes. Well, it's not an American traditional. It's, a, it's just the same thing, but the tune artwork is very much a great thing to have tattooed on your body if you love it works really well they come out very well and it's just kind of natural like that's the way the concept works you know i love the tune cards on people as long as you know your artist does it right i'm gonna put this in the same tier as red eyes i think these are i bet you the art the same artist did both these tattoos actually it could be yeah it could be (laughs) now that that i'm looking at them yeah Uh, (laughs) you don't like this one the, the dark magician one 
I think it's a better version of an American tradition. Like, I think it's a better attempt than the Blue Eyes one, to be honest with you. I, I, I can get if you don't like it. Oh, it just, it looks way off, man. The face sure, is very sure. silly. The art, all the know. hands are, yeah, they just, I, I do not, I personally yeah. do not like this tattoo at all. Yeah, this pose isn't really working for the style either. Yeah, I get it. Why would you yeah, try to sucks. go so alternate? Like, if, at least for the blue eyes and red eyes one, they are in the style of American traditional. This is kind of somewhere in between, but yeah, it look, this looks like a cartoon panel from like the 1930s. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of rough, man. Actually, yeah. the more I look at it, the less I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's D tier for sure. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, next one is Pot of Greed. Dude, what does this tattoo do? Who knows? But uh... <laughs> it's solid. It's just it just looks pretty old. Yeah, and I would say if this or is, is like, it old, like, is this is this a new tattoo? Like, if this is a new tattoo, you got to go back and like do another round. Damn, I fucked up. We got to go bald. <laughs> and I think this tattoo, if it is old, proves more than anything that color isn't everything in tattoos. Because I bet you, if this was from a long time ago, it probably looked fantastic year one or I guess the first six months. But as you go along, you're probably gonna wish that you just got it in pure black and white. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, this is, this is how tattoos like this heal. And so I feel like if you get, you know, color, it's, it's something you should be aware of. So, and if you're not fine with that, you should probably get something in black and gray because a black and gray tattoo is going to, you know, obviously this is subject to opinion, but I, I personally believe black and gray is going to hold a lot better. Yeah. We're objectively the greatest experts on tattoos as well. So everyone else's opinion is rendered useless. Uh, but no, I think the outline of it looks really good. Uh, I'd actually, the like lines the are really good. I think the, you know, the size of it is really nice too. You can, you give yourself a lot more room to work on your arm, but you know, pot of greed has a lot well, of, this is on this guy's knee actually on his like or, on his leg. Really? It looks oh, like a, it looks like yeah. a, that looks like a knee ditch up there. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I'd want to stare at, but to each their own. Yeah. Are that's you, interesting for sure. Where are you thinking about putting this on uh, the tier list here? Uh, I'll give it a B. You could have done a lot better job with the color. That's true. Yeah, definitely. All right. This one is fascinating. This is this is this is blow. This one has like conf like continued to blow my mind since we first saw it, dude. I can't. I am losing my mind at this tattoo. I have no like it. It it challenges me me in ways that I that I never thought possible before. I sit and cry looking at this photo at least one hour a day. <laughs> I've looked at this for five hours now. No, but blue eyes looks good. It looks like the kind of anime art style. But then you just take that. And you put a bunch of weird colors. This is the first it. time. Yeah, this is the first time I'm gonna look at the concept or design of someone's tattoo and, and really question it because I'm like, I just I don't know what they were going for here. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and it just makes me confused. Not as someone who not as someone who likes like good looking tattoos, but just as a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I, I am confused at this and I want an explanation for it. Just go I either make I don't think these lines are gonna hold very well. Yeah, the curvatures are a little funky in the way. No, not even on the blue eyes, like the outside border, too. I don't think those lines are going to hold very well. Those are very thin lines. Mm, yeah, they are, too, on the edges, especially. And the stars are just yellow, or actually just orange dots, too. They're and I just want to know, like, I want to, I want the story about, like, all the tattoos on this person. Like, what, what's the Africa one? Like, what's that all about? <laughs> why why did you want to put it right why did you want to put this one right underneath that one like what are the chances he has a joaquin phoenix joker tattoo somewhere else on his body do you think oh man i feel like it's high enough right to to warrant like concern 50 50 shot probably yeah. Yeah. i don't <laughs> know is... this tattoo is an enigma the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma I'm going to put it in the D tier because I okay. just, I, it, I don't like how it makes me feel. <laughs> yeah, it does make me feel uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> the next one is another pot of greed. And uh, this, this is, is exactly really what I was wide. talking about with like, this is exactly what I was talking about is like, you could do a lot better with the color. Um, but this tattoo also sucks. Like I hate, I, I hate that he got like the script around it. Like I actually don't like that at all. Yeah, this reminds me of the uh, 
not the like, what the what is it the uh i can't think of the joker um who plays in Heath the Ledger? Snyderverse? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, Jared no. Leto. Yeah, this reminds me of Jared Leto text, and that makes me very uncomfortable. Plus, it's not finished out, and it's behind this red hue. But if you can just look at Pot of Greed, I think it's an amazing, amazing tattoo. Yeah, I just don't know why sure. they got all the other stuff around it. it. Kind of ruins it for me. Yeah, I don't know what's going on over there, man. Honestly, and I and I don't really care to look at this any longer. <laughs> I'm putting it in C tier. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Just a little strange. No, it's the way fine. I just hate out. it. It's fine. I just hate it. You know, it's, it's simple. <laughs> We're going to finish we're going to finish off with something that I think you're really going to like because you're big into these millennium ring Hell tattoos. Hell yeah, man. Every time I see a millennium ring tattoo, I'm like, wow, that, I, I get a, I get up. Because I'm like these look dope <laughs> as shit. And this one uh is kind of teetering on that because this one ring on it is fucked up at the bottom and I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> Which one? At the uh the one right like to to the right? Oh, it's just oh. teetering and it's pissing me off, man. Wow. But the and rest that's of why it, I'm upset with this tattoo. <laughs> and the slime, I think, looks very nice. Uh, Everything else is great. Everything else is great. It's it's this is going to this is, tattoo is going to heal really well. The colors packed in the lines are really well. But the that fucking one little that one little needle is is ruining the whole thing for me <laughs> is it gonna prevent you from putting it into s tier you think yeah, it might dude because it is actually kind of like i think this would look really really cool if that if everything was just like not messed up truly unfortunate so i guess i'd That's like sad. it in at I least eight in the a tier it could have been an yeah. s tier wow okay so yeah kevin and i didn't want to make this video too long but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little alternate content i don't think there's been a lot of people who have even made videos like this if you no. guys want to see more funky, goofy videos about Yu-Gi-Oh! or Kevin and I are also interested in just looking at anime tattoos. We may try to do a, maybe a little tattoo thing every Thursday, sneak it in there on the channel because uh, it's just kind of enjoyable to do because we like talking about them. See, I've been really into it lately. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Um, other than that, that's going to do it for today's video and hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful night. We'll see you next time.